A class of low-priced, high-risk public enterprises are penny stocks, with the promise of simple exponential growth and the opportunity to double, treble, or quadruple their money, they entice highly speculative traders. Penny stocks are extremely dangerous, with a high likelihood of fraud and loss, so don't be deceived. In this video we are talking about penny stocks. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more informative videos. What are penny stocks? According to Josh Simpson, a financial advisor at Lake Advisory Group, penny stocks are really classified by the SEC as equities that trade for less than $5 per share, despite their misleading name. Penny stocks are typically the shares of struggling businesses with extremely low market capitalizations that are not traded on significant stocks exchanges. The majority of penny stocks are traded through over-the-counter OTC transactions or on the electronic OTC bulletin board OTCBB system, however a small number may still be listed on the NYSE or the NASDAQ. Penny stocks are prone to fraud, irrational price movements, and excessive volatility. Penny stocks and fraud. In penny stock scams, con artists use pump and dump strategies to sell a firm, much like in the films The Wolf of Wall Street and Boiler Room. Fraudsters prey on unsophisticated customers with high pressure sales techniques. The pump component involves tricking people into purchasing penny stocks, followed by the use of false information to boost the price and attract further unaware buyers. The dump part occurs when the scammers sell all of their shares once the price has risen sufficiently. As a result, the price of the penny stocks plummets and everyone else is left with worthless stocks. While not all penny stocks are frauds, the most of them present little prospect for success. Many languish unused for years with little change in value. Only a select handful might eventually appreciate and begin trading on the larger stocks markets, but those are the exception, not the rule. The manufacturer of exercise equipment, Nautilus NLS, is one such example, according to Simpson. The New York Stocks Exchange, NYSE, now trades Nautilus stocks that was once a penny stocks. Risks of penny stocks. However, there aren't many penny stocks like Nautilus. Even though you might assume that low prices also mean low risks, penny stocks typically have much higher risks than stocks that trade on major exchanges. No matter the size of your investment, this makes it simpler to lose money. High Priced Volatility Because penny stocks are so inexpensive, Tyler Hart, a chartered financial advisor, CFA, with Pelican Bay Capital Management, believes that even a minor change in the stock's price can result in a significant percentage gain. Although a change from $0.50 to $1 per share might not seem like much, it represents a 100% gain. On the other hand, when horrible things happen, they happen quickly. A small absolute loss might be equivalent to a sizable percentage loss. Most investors are unable to cope with such high volatility. Unproven, opaque companies. Typically, penny stocks belong to unknown businesses with no track records. They can have laxer reporting rules, which makes it challenging to thoroughly investigate them before investing. With more widely held equities, investors may open the hood and obtain all the necessary financial data to assess how companies have fared. You could have to spend a lot of time researching penny stocks or you might buy them without doing any research at all. Low trading volume. There is a very large market full of buyers eager to acquire any number of shares when you buy stocks on the NASDAQ or the NYSE. A brokerage or market maker would purchase your stocks if no single bidder expressed interest in all of your shares because they are confident that they can find buyers in the future. Whether penny stocks are traded OTC or on larger exchanges, things are different with them. There are very few buyers or market makers and trading volumes in penny stocks are extremely low. Even if the stocks you purchased for $0.10 is now worth $0.75, according to Simpson, you cannot sell it unless another investor is ready to purchase it from you. Penny stocks may be generating gains for you on paper. How to buy penny stocks if you must? Even after being aware of all the risks, if you're set on buying penny stocks, here's how to set yourself up for maximum gains and minimal losses. Number 1. Decide how much you can lose. Yes, penny stocks are that erratic. Occasionally, cryptocurrencies are mentioned in the same sentence. 
set aside some money, but refrain from investing a large portion of your savings in these erratic investments. Number 2. Stick to major exchanges. The major exchanges like the NYSE or NASDAQ have many equities that trade for between $1 and $5 per share, according to Hart. This significantly lowers your chances of unintentionally falling victim to scam. Additionally, these major exchanges' liquidity is far superior to the OTC market. Additionally, buying shares through a traditional brokerage rather than OTC methods should be possible, which should make trading even simpler. Number 3. Do your research. Even though it may be more challenging to find trustworthy information on many penny stocks, you can look at major exchange-traded companies whose shares have recently dropped below the $5 mark. Experienced traders enjoy. Number 4. Look out for fallen angels. Investors may be able to locate fallen angel stocks in sectors that are going through cyclical downturns by conducting thorough research and keeping an eye out for fraud. These might be otherwise reliable businesses that have run into trouble. Number 5. Be conservative with fees. Look for platforms that allow you to invest in penny stocks without paying exorbitant fees and commissions if you plan to do so. Because penny stocks are so inexpensive, you don't want to be paying more in fees than you could probably recoup through investing. The bottom line on penny stocks, penny stocks are dangerous because the majority of over-the-counter equities have little public information available. There's really no reason to view penny stocks as a prudent investment when there are so many alternatives that enable individuals to start investing with $5 or less and still enjoy reliable historical returns. But if you're still not persuaded, think about Simpson's closing remarks. If you're thinking about investing in penny stocks, you'd be better off going to the casino and having fun while you lose money, he advises. Invest more wisely. If you don't have a lot of money to start investing, there are affordable alternatives to penny stocks. That's it for today, guys. What did you think of the video? Please share with us in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more incredible videos.